it's just, you know, having what I have at home and just having it here. So here's my duffel bag that I travel with a lot. These are my headphones that I all travel with. I have my laptop, which is with me all the time, watching movies, watching my new TV show, Suits. I used to have over 200, 250 pairs of sneakers or trainers. Can never have too many shoes, man. I don't know about the whole woman thing, but men can never have too many shoes either. I have hundreds of shoes. They don't care if you're tired. You know, your opponent doesn't want to take it easy on you because you're tired. It's really important to try and stay on their schedule because we don't have time to sleep. We're there to compete, so we really need to take care of our bodies. My roommate and I, Garrick, have been, uh, we sleep with waves, like the, the, the white noise. So the wave, the rain. Um, on the plane, I have like some rain and stuff. I, I have my headphones and I just pass out on there. So here are all my snacks. So I'm gonna lay them all out for you. All right on my roommate's bed, hopefully he doesn't get mad. Dry mango. This is a great source of energy. It's a great source of natural sugar, which is what you need on the road. Um, it's also a great healthy snack. Fruits and nuts are great. It's just great to have some sugar, yet not too sweet. All natural fibers, everything is great for you. This is something also that's very important to have in competition to keep you going for hopefully a long day. Choosing my meals, I try to see the calories um, as well as the nutrition. Um, you know, it's very important to know what's going into your body, as many as the calories. Um, you know, you set goals and you want to know how many calories to eat every day. Competition, you know, it's, it's your head, which is the most important thing. Your training is good, you know, my fitness is great, I'm in great shape. For me, it's just getting my head straight. And you know, a clear mind, you know, is what's going to ultimately determine my outcome. Well, the Olympics, I didn't end up winning, you know, come up with a medal because my mind wasn't right. I was focusing on too many things, I was, wasn't enjoying it, you know. Um, that's what happened, and I learned the hard way. And the next year I came back and changed and won the World Championship. So I know, I know what to do. For the young athletes, you know, you just need to focus on your training before the competition and at the competition, focus on your mind. And I think those two things will really change everything for you.